recall uh, my first meeting with Sherry. That's about um, eight years ago at, uh, in Fukuoka, Kyushu in Japan. Mikiko was friends with two of the ladies that were in the church and they brought her to the Wednesday Bible study and to study English. At that time, um, I was not uh, a Christian yet, um, but she uh, taught me uh, many things and we love her so much. Uh, she worked um, in Fukuoka as a missionary, but uh, in uh, less than uh, two years, uh, she got transferred to Tokyo. So I moved up to Tokyo and wouldn't you know, about a year after I got here, her husband's company transferred her to Tokyo and they move up to Tokyo. This is amazing miracle, that's uh, God's plan. So uh, we moved to uh, Tokyo too, um, as if um, I was chasing her, <laughs> Sherry. And uh, we saw each other again and uh, she taught me uh, Bible and God's love again. She started having a lot of physical problems. She was in the National Cancer Center for surgery because the doctor had discovered that she had lung cancer. Four doctors uh, said to me, uh, you are lung cancer. Um, that's 98% um, lung cancer. So I have to uh, get uh, open chest surgery. The day before the surgery, I went to the hospital, took her picture of Jesus standing in the operating room, and she showed that to her doctor. She showed all the people that came in and explained what that was, that Jesus is going to be with her. I continue to play. And uh, eventually, uh, the result of the surgery, I had no cancer. Mm. That's a miracle. Mikiko stayed true to the fact that she was giving her heart to God and asked me to baptize her and I baptized her a few months later and she has been growing in the Lord ever since. I wouldn't have been um, saved uh, without uh, Sherry's uh, teaching and leading. Mm. She uh, led me to God.